Edwards Air Force Base, pilots are testing more than airplanes. The joint helmet-mounted queuing system projects vital flight information directly onto the pilot's helmet visor. Developed to work in conjunction with an aircraft's weapon system, the new helmet will eventually allow pilots to aim their weapons by simply looking at the target. My name is Captain Dan Marticello. I'm a flight test engineer here at Edwards Air Force Base. Oh. Eagle Ops, Captain Marticello. My primary project is the joint helmet mounting queuing system. The helmet display unit is modular. It pops right off the helmet like that. You can see where the connector is uh, that plugs into the, uh, the helmet shell itself. Then you have some electronic circuitry. You have the cathode ray tube that generates the display and its associated optics. You have the uplook cursors, a camera so we can, after the flight, see what the pilot was looking at. And uh, of course, the magnetic tracker that uh, detects where the pilot is looking. In a combat environment, we can expect up to nine Gs. So then you could now understand that a helmet that weighed two pounds now weighs 18 pounds. And it uh, would be a significant amount of weight to, to be pushing around on your, on your head. Fitting this sophisticated technology into a lightweight package presented a unique engineering challenge. In order to keep the weight of the helmet system down, they've used a very uh, lightweight composite material. The other thing is they've constructed the electronics out of as light a weight material as possible in order to make the entire system uh, light enough to be usable in a, in a high G environment. The joint helmet mounting queuing system allows us to aim our weapons without having to turn the aircraft. Rather than having to turn the airplane to line up the missile with the enemy aircraft, I can now just turn my head. It makes your uh, platform a lot more lethal.